and the Hashemites. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.
Today we read from Christ in Our Home, January, February, March, 2021. Today is Saturday, February 6th. Today's reading comes from Matthew chapter 12, verses 9 through 14. Going on from that place, he went into their synagogue, and a man with a shriveled hand was there. Looking for a reason to bring charges against Jesus, they asked him, Is it lawful to heal on the Sabbath? He said to them, If any of you has a sheep and it falls into a pit on the Sabbath, will you not take a hold of it and lift it out? How much more valuable is a person than a sheep? Therefore, it is lawful to do good on the Sabbath. Then he said to the man, stretch out your hand. So he stretched it out, and it was completely restored, just as sound as the other. But the Pharisees went out and plotted how they might kill Jesus. Today is Saturday, February 6th. Today's society has a radically different relationship with the Sabbath than did the Pharisees. A day each week dedicated to rest and work seems inconceivable to many. Even, me, even my recently retired parents often note how busy they are. In light of our culture's devotion to overstuffed schedules, how are we to understand allegations of Jesus working on the day of rest? It's worth noting what Jesus does on the Sabbath. He heals. Jesus recasts the Sabbath as a day for finite and fragile human beings to be restored, first from the burdens of the week and ultimately in the messianic age, from all brokenness in this life. Jesus demonstrates that mercy takes precedent over slavish adherence to the law. And in the Son of Man, something greater than the temple is here. In the face of what the Pharisees perceive as a violation of the law, they began conspiring to destroy Jesus. If anything sounds like violation of the Sabbath, it is this plotting. Surely Jesus and the healed man awake the next day, feeling more rejuvenated than the conspirators. Healing God, restore me and give me rest today. Through Jesus Christ, amen. So I invite you to do these things each and every day as we live our Christian walk in faith. I will start every day by being open to the blessings that God is going to give me. I will realize every day that I am the face of God to everyone I meet. And I will end every day by thanking God for the blessings received and place into God's hands my worries and fears.